One of the niches in, in uh, emergency medicine is the pre-hospital setting, uh, EMS, uh, emergency medical services. And so a lot of times emergency physicians are the ones who are medical directors for agencies, um, is, you know, for the fire department or private ambulance services. Uh, another area that has emergency physicians typically in charge is the emergency medical services system. Pre-hospital training. Uh, we tend to do the training of uh, the pre-hospital providers, so air medical nurses, uh, paramedics, EMTs. We often serve as uh, medical director for the different training agencies. Uh, position of being the city medical director gave me the leverage to be able to start to do stuff, and uh, and it also gave me uh, kind of a uh, an opportunity to move public health forward, which is really emergency medicine and public health, in my view, are just two ends of the same spectrum. It uh, sort of goes hand in hand with uh, EMS is disaster medicine. And when things sort of occur outside of the normal everyday car crashes and chest pains and heart attacks, uh, you have sort of the, the mass casualty or the large responses. We had a number of uh, annual events, events meaning a terrorist event, uh, simulated. And so we had Qualcomm Stadium get bombed with a uh, chemical agent. We had Del the Del Mar racetrack get attacked. We've had uh, attacks over several other large venues, Coors Amphitheater and, and whatnot. And when we do these drills, literally there are thousands of people who participate because these are really simulated uh, drills. We have people who are moulaged as uh, victims. We have hundreds of victims. We have the, the SWAT team coming in, the bomb squad coming in. We have literally hundreds of uh, emergency response vehicles showing up in order to drill so that if a real event ever does occur, we will be able to take care of these patients. You can't have a thousand patients going to the emergency department. And so what we have with our MMST is the opportunity to go and decontaminate, take care of patients, and treat them in the field settings. Uh, in a large-scale event without having to overwhelm the already uh, busy EMS system on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you know, tens of thousands of people evacuating out of a fire and they've got to go someplace. Uh, and these are lots of really vulnerable people, nursing home patients and, you know, and demented folks and all this kind of stuff. You know, you have to have a, a system in place that can actually respond to those things as if they're dealing with an everyday event. It, you can't be surprised by what you're supposed to do. And so San Diego EMS, I'm talking regionally now, and especially the city, uh, didn't, have, didn't have to blink an eye to know that Qualcomm Stadium, if that was where it was going to get designated, had to have a critical incident command system set up and healthcare system set up on the fly. And so that's what we did. That's probably what you know, got us maybe nationally the, the, the most recognition we ever had was what happened at Qualcomm Stadium with you know, tens of thousands of people being housed building a hospital in about six hours for hundreds of nursing home patients. They didn't, know their, they didn't know their medicines, they hadn't been brought with them. Fantastic pharmaceutical response from the community, uh, law enforcement, military, all the things you needed. So what you ended up seeing instead of disaster, which there was structural disaster, but almost no loss of life, and this fantastic ability. And where does that come from? It comes from the fact that you know we have a very integrated EMS system. Uh, we work with the cops you know, all the time, fire department, EMS. The purpose of, of an emergency medical services experience at the end is so that the physician understands his role or her role in the community. Okay? The idea is we're training doctors here. Doctors are different than lots of other jobs. There are unique responsibilities associated with being a physician and being an emergency physician. There are unique opportunities to give back and make a difference. So the goal is that at the end of the month, you know, an emergency medicine resident can see one of this vast array of possibilities from you know, getting involved in a public access defibrillation program, to being the base station director at their hospital when they grow up someday and go someplace, to really actually taking an interest in a fellowship, or, or having an appreciation of what to do when they're at the scene of an accident. Fantastic EMS um, people. I wouldn't even know how to rank them. Maybe I should start alphabetically. Colleen Bono, fantastic, you know, disaster, mistress of disaster. We have Jake Jacoby, the master of disaster. You know, we have people that have gone to all these fantastically awful um, things, you know, from, uh, from earthquakes and, and hurricanes to natural disasters all around the world. And so Colleen's fantastic. She did the fellowship here. Um, she was a key at Qualcomm Stadium during the wildfires. Um, 
Denny Davis, you know, an unbelievable guy, really internationally recognized EMS researcher. Uh, I go to a lot of these meetings uh, around the country, and there's nobody like Dan Davis in terms of the young Turks in, in uh, you know, emergency medicine research. He is considered to be one of the top guns. Uh, as evidence of, he's the principal investigator for the ROC here in San Diego, Resuscitation Outcome Consortium. Here's this NIH designated 10 centers of excellence in all in North America that are what 10 communities are most qualified to do EMS research, and Danny's a principal investigator for San Diego. It's, it says something about Dan, it says something about our region and what we've been able to pull off. We just, we've got a wonderful kind of tight-knit group of people that are doing a whole spectrum of things. And last but not least, Gary Vilk, starts with a V. Uh, and Gary, you know, former county EMS medical director, very involved in the ROC and a whole range of other stuff. Uh, so we've got a pretty deep bench, I'd say, for an EMS uh, division.